Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars, and the American Sandinista Communists are uh, planning multiple vigils, apparently all over the country, uh, not just on December 19th, but uh, before December 19th, uh, December 17th, turn off, kick out. Kick off rally and vigil. Thousands of Americans will descend on Washington Memorial for a gathering of the communists, I mean communities, rally and unity vigil organized by Pound Turnout and Unite for America DC. The event will feature speeches from across the political spectrum. That is a lie. These are communists. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Unified in agreement with Donald Trump's presidency and Russia's influence on his administration are a threat to a national security. So, uh, here, here's what we have. They are joining the, they are joining the coup d'etat, which I have said is in progress. I'm not the only one who's saying this, by the way. I was listening to Jim Quinn today, this morning, and yeah, he's saying the same thing. We have a coup d'etat in progress. It was eerie listening to the guy. You'd think he uh, copied me, which he didn't. He didn't copy me, but <laughs> great minds think alike. I guess, uh, grassroots action groups, organizers, Communities, nationwide organizing, peaceful vigils, blah, blah, blah. So December 16th and 19th, unity vigils and rallies. Peaceful vigils will begin outside state capitals leading up to December 19th. This will culminate in lecture sport rallies on December 19th when the Electoral College meets Cast their ballots. Attendees are asked to wear purple and bring purple candles, glow sticks, and banners as a symbol of unity and bravery for our lectures. Funny, I never heard of purple being a color for communists, but anyway. The only way to stop a candidate who succeeded in exploiting our division as countries come together now in our nation's darkest tower. Donald Trump's cavalier disregard for statesman-like behavior, Russians' blatant interference over his candidacy in order to incite civil unrest, and his unprecedented, unqualified, and hateful administration, not only an affront to our core values as Americans, but also a clear threat to our national security. That is bullshit. <sighs> Well, my blood pressure is rising, I'll tell you that much. These are the American Sandinista communists. So, let's take a look at News Talk 94.9, WSJM. See, I heard about this on Coast to Coast AM, so I did a search, and this is how I know about it. A group of southwestern Michigan residents concerned about the result of the presidential election is braving the freezing cold each evening until electoral college meets, hold vigils in front of St. Joseph's City Hall, they're asking electors to vote their conscience. Katie Kwan is one of, one of the coup leaders who told WSJM News electors had the power to stop Donald Trump. So, these uh, people in Mich Michigan are part of the coup, the coup d'etat. Alexander Hamilton foretold that foreign powers would try to influence presidential elections, Kwan said. Donald Trump is not qualified. He is compromised by Russian involvement, and watchers must do their constitutional duty and put somebody else in office. She means the communist hologram Hillary, of course. Juan says they want an investigation and postponement of electoral college meetings set for December 19th. Vigils will be held 
every evening from 5 to 5.30 at City Hall until the college meets. Ow! And in California, Sacramento protesters call on Electoral College to reject Trump. Now, this is no surprise protesters at California Capitol, meaning Sandinista communists, uh, called on members of the Electoral College to honor a popular vote and reject Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States on Monday. Referring to themselves as defend democracy, meaning defend communism, the group read their own version of the Declaration of Independence. There's only one version. Declaration lists the group's grievances with the president elect, including the defendant torture, racial and religious discrimination, boast of sexual assaults, and has chosen to appoint people who range from utterly unqualified to extremely dangerous. So here we have I'm gonna break this down. We have the American Sandinista communists are joining with the coup the coup d'etat that uh, Christine Pelosi, daughter Nancy Pelosi, and others are perpetrating. So these are all lawbreakers by definition because they're trying to influence the electors to change their votes. And some of the electors, it's uh, illegal for them to do that. What I mean is, in some states, it's illegal for electors to change the votes, and it's a, cr it's a crime. They can go to jail, and because these people are trying to get them to do that, what they're doing, in essence, is they're committing crime. They're uh, trying to get people to uh, commit crimes. Go to jail. It's like if one person told, tells another, go ahead and uh, go in and shop with this for me, and you'll get, a, you'll get a cut. It's just as much of a crime as this is. So here you have it. These are the American Sandinista communists. They're getting into the coup. We have the Pelosi group, which is getting into the coup. We have the Hamilton electors, which are part of the coup d'etat. So this coup d'etat has a very strong, this communist coup d'etat has very strong uh, backing. Uh, of course, these people would deny that they're communists, but they are. So, we're in a lot of trouble. You know, Obama is saying he's going to take action. We got big time trouble. If this don't break down in a civil war, we'll be lucky. I'll tell you that much. I can't predict it. I can't make a prediction here. But I know we're in a lot of fucking trouble. You see, it's uh, Sandinist, American Sandinista communists doing this, and I'm just cringing. Oh, God. Uh, keep your powder dry and your lighter high. You're going to need both of them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Get your groups together.